Hi everyone. How is the Glad Tidings family today? I hope and pray that every one of you you're staying safe, you're keeping well by the grace of God. Today is my privilege to share with you a very exciting topic in our Bible reading plan. Let me give you a hint. Now this topic has inspired songs. It has inspired movies and books. This topic has even inspired poetry. Good and not so good poetry has been written in the name of this topic. I could go on and on about this topic but I will not. Instead I will tell you it is a four letter word in the English language, a good word. L O V E love. Now love is something which we're also familiar with. I'm sure many of you remember the first time your heart skipped a beat when you met the person who you knew was going to be your spouse for the rest of your life. And even parents of newborn, you remember that feeling that came across you the first time you held your newborn in your arms and that was love that overflowed from your heart. And every one of us, we have the experience of that love that we first encountered when we found out about Jesus Christ and He became our Lord and Saviour when we knew such amazing love of God. Now, the Bible is filled with verses, more than 500 verses have been written about this topic of love. But today, I'm just going to talk about one passage in John chapter 13, reading from verse 34 and 35. Let's, let's go here. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Now, these were the words that Jesus spoke to his disciples. It was one of the last few parting messages that he gave to his disciples, preparing them for what is to come. Because they did not know that just after the resurrection, Jesus would meet with them and he will give them the biggest task ever known to mankind, the Great Commission. The Great Commission to take this powerful gospel message from Jerusalem to Judea until the ends of the earth. It was a huge task and Jesus knew in order to fulfill this task, the disciples needed to be united. They needed to have this oneness and this oneness was only possible if they had the love of God within them. And Jesus said this, by this shall all, all men know that you are my disciples when that you have love for one another. And in the same way, Jesus was demonstrating on a daily basis to his disciples how much he loved them. And in the same way, I know that Jesus is continuing to demonstrate his great love for you and I today. And may the overflow of the love of God come out so that we can love each other. In the kingdom of God, there's no place for rivalry or selfishness, but there has to be that oneness so that the kingdom of God can expand, so that the Great Commission can be fulfilled, so that everyone will know the love of God. If there are difficult people in your life, even in this season of celebration, I know Chinese New Year is going to be very different this season. Valentine's Day is going to be very different this season. But I believe that the love of God can continue to overflow into every person that we want to celebrate with. And so I pray that you take this to heart and let me pray with you even right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for such great love that you have given to us. We thank you for sending your son Jesus and Lord, we ask that Lord for every person that's here, let your love overflow in and through their hearts so that in this season, in the whole month of February and so on, we will be demonstrators of your love as disciples of Jesus Christ. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.